Need some help when deciding what to do first in Pokemon Go? Well, here are a few tips to guide you on your journey to becoming a Pokemon Master. First, check in at Pokestops. These blue icons are often landmarks, sculptures, noteworthy buildings, and more. Getting close and interacting with them will score you free items like Pokeballs, eggs, and potions. Simply spin the image around as fast as you can and items will pop out in bubbles. Tap these bubbles to add them to your inventory. If you're in a quiet, out-of-the-way area, consider taking a trip to a local park, mall, or other hotspot where you are likely to find more points of interest. These will, in turn, give you more free items. These areas often contain more gems as well. Pokemon Go retains one of Pokemon's most important options, renaming your Pokemon. Even after you capture a creature out in the wild, open up the Pokemon option in your menu. Click on a particular one that you like, and after clicking the little pencil icon next to the Pokemon's name, you can give it a new name. Pokemon Go will give players an idea of the Pokemon nearby with icons appearing at the bottom corner of the app. They will be grayed out if you haven't caught that type yet. The mystery keeps things fun and resembles the unknown of wandering around in the original Pokemon games, but having an idea of which Pokemon are available to you could make all the difference. When you catch Pokemon, you have the option to transfer them to Professor Willow. This feature should be used to send duplicate Pokemon away and in return obtain the candy that will allow you to evolve the one you decide to keep. Be sure to check each duplicate Pokemon's stats before transfer so you aren't transferring the strongest one with the best moves. And there's your tips for getting started in Pokemon Go. Do you have any useful tips and hints? Let us know about them in the comments below. And for more on everything Pokemon, stick with IGN.